Pete Gluzak here, Bass University. Uh, man, we're doing we're doing a series on tidal fishing, and we've attacked a lot of different conditions uh, through the low tide. We fish vegetation in the low tide, hard habitat in the low. Uh, we experienced the blowout tide and uh, showed you how to make those adjustments when the tide gets real low. And now we're on the opposite. We have a high tide. And this, by most people that you talk to that fish tides will tell you, this is the most complex, the most challenging tide uh, to consistently catch fish. But I, there's a lot of tricks, uh, a lot of strategies that I like to use when the tide gets up that can really help you. It can help you catch um, a bite. It can help you catch a few more fish because it is definitely challenging when you get in this situation. A lot of times your, your bites per man hour when the tide gets high are gonna go down. And that's one of the first things that I wanna prepare you for is, all right, when we have a high tide, we, we can expect a little bit more challenging condition, have to cover a little bit more water to get the bites and my, my catch rate's gonna go down a little bit. So that's really important. Uh, there's many times where I feel like any fish I catch on a high tide is a bonus fish. That's, and, and that's really great. Waiting for that low tide, because we know what happens, and the low tide, the bait concentrates, the fish concentrate, and the bites can, can be a little bit more cooperative. So, uh, so I'm gonna dive into a few things that can really help us when the tide, when the tide gets up. It's a real foggy day here, but the, the tide is up on the riprap. We're gonna start on riprap. And riprap is just such an amazing habitat on a high tide. What happens is the, 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 rip, the rocks flood and that new water that comes up in there, it, it, it gives bait fish access to all types of organisms, little worms, grubs, whatever. Now, now the water's up, it's flooded, and the bait fish can come in and they can feed amongst the rocks uh, on that freshly flooded area. And so they will move up with it. And the, and the, uh, the predators, of course, they're where, they go where the bait goes. So a lot of riprap, that we see, it's all shoreline stabilization stuff. And so the riprap's that are real shallow at low tide, when they flood, man, that's the time that I'm gonna get after that, that type of habitat. We're gonna tackle some docks, we're gonna tackle some other uh, habitat in this video that, uh, that can benefit from a higher tide situation. So some of the tackle that I use, well, we're, you know, we're fishing in the tides, it's, it's typically uh you know a pretty uh, basic consistent way that i approach it and it's going to be a spinner bait a crank bait and a jig you know we're going to we're going to get after that and after the fish with those tools of course i will always have a finesse presentation prepared and ready to go but when i'm in a higher tide situation one of the things that i like to do is is have is make more noise get a little bit bigger of a presentation i might go from a creature bait i might move up to a jig in a higher tide something that has a bigger presence in the water something that can displace a little bit more water something that the when it gets flooded like this something that's easier for the fish to identify and track down and find so i want something that a lot of times is a little bit bigger so i a lot of times i will upsize my spinner baits a little bit to the next size next size blade go from a creature or a shaky head up to a jig or a bigger creature uh something that that can capture their attention um you know i'll be doing you know, this is a lipless, it's, you know, we happen to be here in the fall, it's a great time of year to be fishing this, this bait, but something that is noisy can make, you know, some, some disturbance in the water, and I can see some, uh, some baits here that, that also a square bill, a square bill is a terrific tool, something that, it's something that can bang off of that shallow habitat and give the fish something to track, 